Hello. Welcome back to Immersive Reactions. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing and thank you for liking and commenting on all of our recent Game of Thrones content. And I greatly appreciate reading all the support through the comments. Yeah. And all, the, all the answers and breaking things down. In the last episode, the end, man. Arians being arrested. Yes. Hey. Which is an interesting twist that I didn't think was going to happen. No. He's definitely not going back to King's Landing to warn them of the White Walkers now. That In episode three, they're like, go warn them. Yeah, that's definitely not going to no. happen. And I suspect that's probably not going to happen just because of how chaotic everything is down there and how much they're just in it for themselves down there. The training of the Night's Watch. Couldn't it be interesting? Especially with mm -hmm. Sam. I don't know his last name. I apologize. Just learning it. Wonder how that's going to incorporate in yeah we'll see if he starts to if john starts to wear off on him a little bit and he becomes a little tougher and thicker skinned what's that guy's name the guy that's training them i don't know that guy you'd be around that guy for a little while you're gonna have some thick skin yes because he's he has a lot of history like he is a hard ass you but know he he's a hard man that. probably a good teacher for these kids because he's seen it all and he's gone through it all yes he does have i know best kind of does it's a different way of going about getting your point across with but him i think that they're running out of time with winter coming and them afraid of the white walker type of threat coming they are they're just trying to rush through and get these guys as ready as they can yes because he said that soon there will be new ones and new guys will be part of the night's watch so i think he's running out of time so he's like we got to get this going yeah no we can't be like games and it's like the exact opposite of king's landing we do not have time to play around mm -hmm. and in king's landing it's they have nothing but time to scheme and come up with these different ways of attaining a little bit more power or playing for a long game and the game, the game is just like something we don't even see yet. And everyone's like clawing their way towards some sort of power grab where they're going to take power. I really don't know. We'll the, see as more of the characters like roll out. Daenerys finally stood up to her brother. Mm -hmm. I think he's finally realizing he doesn't. I don't know if he is, but it would. Any person that had any sense whatsoever would be realizing I don't have any power in this situation. Yes, yeah, especially with situation. the shock that he had. In I need to go about this a little differently. Mm -hmm. Like he needs it. He needs the King's Landing approach right now. And he has just threaten people approach, which doesn't work when you don't have anything to back it up. <laughs> That's true. If you have a threat, you need force to back up a threat. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any force. He has nothing at all. He just has words. Yeah, he just... I am like it doesn't matter what you, you want, want but it doesn't you have nothing to back up <laughs> what you are you're out there doing nothing but besides that i think we'll get into it yeah. let us know if you're enjoying this i hope you do i if am you are enjoying this series and subscribe so we can continue to push out videos at the rate we're going and if you want to see our content in a longer extended format, we have two episodes currently out ahead of YouTube right now. It's on our Patreon and we have all of our content there. Mm -hmm. We have three channels with all of our content. So you have a big library of stuff to go through. If you're just looking for Game of Thrones, we're going to have new reactions coming out all the time for that and we're going to be several weeks ahead of that plus it's probably a better place for us to interact with you guys because we can do more mm -hmm. community things and i have plans to do later on on in the future we can do live streams where we watch things we've already seen with the community on patreon without further ado let's get going Take man when i see a new location on this map we've seen all the same locations when i see a new location i'm gonna be hyped <laughs> yes well, i notice different things every time i see the new map like different details i'm sure the eerie yes look at that i believe that's what it said i think the eerie 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 whichever eerie is like where Winterfell. Like eagle's nest. An eagle's eerie. Whoa. It's like an eagle's nest. The wall. So we're still the one new location, which is cool. No Winterfell. I didn't see Winterfell. Winterfell was there, I believe. Thrones. I just no, just realized it. On the Game of Thrones, there's yeah. like that circle plate, and there's each sigil on every single side of it. Sigil? Sigil? 
Sigil, please. I'll I have know. to look next time. I time. notice things like that. Does Sir Hugh have any family in the capital? What? No. Oh, so they're just making him like... Visual for him myself last night. A little nice. composed. He had no one else. He'd never worn this armor before. Bad luck for him, going against the mountain. Who determines the draw? All the nice draw straws, Lord Star. Aye, but who holds the straws? You've done good work, sisters. Life is strange. Not so many years ago, we fought as enemies of the Trident. I'm glad we never met on the field, Sir Beriston. As is my wife. I don't think the widow's life would suit her. <laughs> You're too modest. I've seen you cut down a dozen great knights. My father once told me you were the best he'd ever seen. I never knew the man to be wrong about matters of combat. He was a fine man, your father. What the Mad King did to him was a terrible crime. That lad he was a squire until a few months ago. How could he afford a new suit of armor? Perhaps Lord Aaron left him some money. I hear the King wants to chance today. Mm. Yes, that will never happen. <laughs> Robert tends to do what he wants. If the King got what he wanted all the time, I'd still be fighting a damned rebellion. Made too small, Your Grace. It won't go. Your mother was a dumb whore with a fat ass. Did you know that? <laughs> Look at this idiot. All right. One ball and no brains. He can't even put a man's armor on him properly. Be too fat for your armor. Fat? Fat, is it? Is that how you speak to your king? <laughs> That can't ever be very serious funny, to each other. Funny is. <laughs> You're not allowed to laugh. No. You don't like the hands joke. <laughs> it's all shit in the poor boy. You heard the hand. The king's too fat for his armor. Go find the breastplate stretcher. The breastplate stretcher. How long before he figures it out? Maybe should have one invented. All right, you watch me out there. I still know how to point a lance. You've no business jousting. Leave that for the young man. Why? Because I'm king? Piss on that. I want to hit somebody. And who's going to hit your bike? Anybody who can. And the last man in his saddle... Will be you. There's not a man in the Seven Kingdoms would risk hurting you. You're telling me those cowards had let me win? Aye. Drink. No, I'm not thirsty. Drink. Your king commands it. <laughs> God. You're a squire. A Lannister boy. Mm, bloody idiot. But Cersei insisted. I have John Arryn to thank for her. Cersei Lannister will make a good match, she told me. You'll need her father on your side. I thought being king meant I could do whatever I wanted. Get up with this. Let's go watch him ride. At least I can smell so someone else's Now he regrets blood. being king? Because he's do what Cersei says? <laughs> <laughs> An inspiring sight for the people, eh? Come, bow before your king. Bow, your shits. <laughs> He's just having a time of his life. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to joust. Wait, never mind. I can't do that anymore. I'm just going to go wash some. You got to put some clothes on. Oh, I forgot about that. The Knight of the Flowers. Thank you, Sir Loris. What was that? Oh. oh boy. I feel like the mountain has a huge advantage just by his size. Yeah. His armor looks like cool. Yeah. Like, Yo. Or like iron. Looks heavy as hell. Oh. Sansa's just not ready for any of this. I'll take that bet. Now, what will I buy with a hundred gold dragons? A dozen barrels of Dornish wine? Or a girl from the pleasure houses of Lys. You could even buy a friend. He's going to die. So Loris rides well. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Yeah, I don't know if this guy was... I don't know. Even. Cersei didn't show up. Oh. Whoa. He lost. Did you see the smile on his face? <laughs> a little smirk. What? And tell me, Lord Renly, when will you be having your friend? Loras knew his mare was in heat. Quite crafty, really. Sir so Loras would never do that. There's no honor in tricks. No honor, and quite a bit of gold. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. 
Wait, is he gonna attack him? Oh, they're brothers, too. Oh, I am not even prepared for this. This madness in the name of your... Let him go! Spare you my life, sir. I'm not sir. Oh, rip. She still stands up. <laughs> Said he's not a sir, so he's not a knight. He's just making a song about it. I did, often and loudly. Very wise. You'll be out in droves, looking for me in the wrong place. Words probably got into my father by now. He'll be offering a handsome reward. Everyone knows a Lannister always pays his debts. Would you be so good as to untie me? And why would I do that? Why not? Am I going to run? The hill tribes would kill me for my boots. Unless a shadow cat ate me first. Shadow cats and hill tribes are the least of your concerns. The Eastern Road. We're going to the Vale. You're taking me to your sisters to answer for my imagined crimes. Tell me, Lady Stark, when was the last time you saw your sister? Five years ago. Ooh. She's changed. She was always a bit touched, but now you might as well kill me here. I am not a murderer, Lannister. Neither am I. I had nothing to do with the attempt on your son's life. The Daka found What sort of imbecile arms an assassin with his own blade? Should I gag him? Why? He does have a bell point because they were traced back to him. So, I mean... Ooh! He's got his face, man. Oh. Ooh! Oh, God. I don't think that little dagger's gonna do you any good. Untie me. If I die, what's the point? I'm gonna try to run. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh. Holy. <laughs> he saved her. Yes. He did. Do you see his face? Like, what are you doing? Yes. Wow. Oh, he's pissed. He's oh my god. Like, all the guards died. I'll be fine, my lady. There's no need to bloody yourself. You're first, you need a woman. And like a woman after a fight. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Well, I'm willing if she is. Oh, no. the, the like, Run. singing guy was yeah, still alive. He was like, limping Sigil, around. The Kraken. It's words we do not say. Lords? The Greyjoys. Thanes for their skills at archery, navigation, and lovemaking. And failed rebellions. Sigil, a stag, a crown stag, now that Robert's king. Good. Words, ours oh. is the Fury. Lords, the Baratheons. Hmm? The Westerland. Sigil, a lion. Hmm. Words, a Lannister always pays his debt. No. A common saying, but not Ty Ty Tyron just said that. Lords, Tyrion? Yes, Tyrion. We're still on their words. I don't know them. You do know them, think. Bowed, unbent, unbroken. That's House Martell. Righteous in wrath. House Hornwood. Family, duty, honor. Those are Tully words, your mother's. Are we playing a game? Family, duty, honor. Is that the right order? You know it is. Family comes first. Your mother had to leave Winterfell, the family. How can she protect the family if she's not with her family? Your mother sat by your bed for three weeks while you slept. And then she left. Oh. Um. He's not taking it well. When you were born, I was the one who pulled you from your mother and placed you in her arms. From that moment until the moment she dies, she will love you absolutely, fiercely. Why did she leave? I still can't tell you, but she will be home soon. Do you know where she is now? Today? No, I don't. Then how can you promise me she'll be home soon? Sometimes I worry you're too smart for your own good. I'll never shoot another arrow. And where is that written? You need legs to work a bow. If the saddle Lord Tyrion designed actually works, you could learn to shoot a bow from horseback. Really? Dothraki boys learn when they're four years old. Why oh, wow. You? There you go. Keep it down. They're not supposed to be inside the castle walls. Oh, you were supposed to be an important person around here. Important enough for the likes of you. 
You're not the only nobleman in my life, you know. Him, the imp. I call him half a nobleman. Jealous? Why should I be jealous? Anyone with a few coppers in his pocket can own you for the night. I've been Lord Stark's ward since I was eight years old. A ward? That's a nice word for it. Your father rebelled against King Robert, and if he does to My father fought for the freedom of his people. What did your father do? You're a very serious boy. I'm not a boy. Oh, yes, you are. A serious boy. With a serious... I don't want to pay for it. And get yourself a wife. Come on. I'm not gonna hurt you. Kitty. How is your son, my lord? He'll never walk again. But his mind is sound. <laughs> so they say. A blessing, then. I suffered an early mutilation myself. Some doors close forever. Others open in most unexpected places. No. Wrong ears heard what I'm about to tell you. Off comes my head. And who would mourn poor Varys then? North or south, they sing no songs for spiders. But there are things you must know. You are the king's hand, and the king is a fool. Your friend I know, but a fool, and doomed unless you save him. I've been in the capital a month. Why have you waited so long to tell me this? That's I true. I trust you. Oh. So why do you trust me now? The queen is not the only one who has been watching you closely. There are few men of honor in the capital. You are one of them. I would like to believe I am another strange, as that may seem. What sort of doom does the king face? The same sort as John Arryn. Oh. The Tears of Lys, they call it. A rare and costly thing. As clear and tasteless as water, it leaves no trace. Who gave it to him? Some dear friend, no doubt. But which one? There were many. Lord Arryn was a kind and trusting man. There was one boy. All he was, he owed to John Arryn. The squire, Sir Hugh. Pity what happened to him just when his life seemed to be going so nicely. If Sir Hugh poisoned him, who paid Sir Hugh? Someone who could afford it. John was a man of peace. He was hand for 17 years, 17 good years. Why kill him? Yeah. He started asking questions. Yeah. I would be careful under investigation. Yeah, everyone's... Because yeah, he's starting to ask questions or look for things. Wow, that's absolutely massive. Oh my god. That's the dragon skull they were talking about. Yeah. He's found one bastard already. He has the book. The rest will come. And when he knows the truth, what will he do? The gods alone know. The fools tried to kill his son. It's worse. They botched it. The wolf and the lion will dig each other's throats. We will be at war soon, my friend. What good is war now? We're not ready. If one hand can die, why not a second? This hand is not the other. We need time. Carl Drogo will not make his move until his son is born. You know what these savages are. The delay, you say. Move fast, I reply. This is no longer a game for two players. It's never won. I mean, she could easily just slide through it. Oh, boy. She's going deeper. Yes. She overheard some stuff she was not supposed to hear. The first to arrive and the last to leave. I admire your industry. You do move quietly. We all have our qualities. You look a bit lonely. He was with the guy from pay a visit to my that was talking see. with first boy is on the house. I think you are mistaking business with pleasure. Am I? The Dothraki in the beginning. All those birds that whisper in your ear, such pretty little things. Um, Trust me. Yes. That was the same guy. Yes. Oh, I'm sure. Lord Redwin likes his boys very young, I hear. I'm a purveyor of beauty and discretion, both equally important. But though I suppose beauty is a subjective quality, no? Is it true that Sir Marlon of Tumblestone prefers amputees? All desires are valid to a man with a full purse. And I heard the most awful rumor about a certain lord with a taste for fresh cadavers. Must be enormously difficult to accommodate that inclination. The logistics alone, to find beautiful corpses before they rot. Strictly speaking, such a thing would not be in accordance with the king's laws. Strictly speaking. 
Tell me, does someone somewhere keep your balls in a little box? I've often wondered. They're just going back and forth. Yeah. Do you know I have no idea where they are, and we had been so close. But enough about me. How have you been since we last saw each other? Since you last saw me, or since I last saw you? Now, the last time I saw you, you were talking to the hand of the king. Saw me with your own eyes. Eyes I own. Council business. We all have so much to discuss with Ned Stark. Everyone's well aware of your enduring fondness for Lord Stark's wife. Mm -hmm. If the Lannisters were behind the attempt on the Stark boy's life, and it was discovered that you helped the Starks come to that conclusion, to think a simple word to the Queen... One shudders at the thought. But you know something? I do believe that I have seen you even more recently than you have seen me. Have you? Yes. Earlier today, I distinctly recall seeing you talking to Lord Stark in his chambers. Was that you under the bed? Gosh, they just stalk each bed, other. It's when I saw you escorting a certain foreign dignitary, council business. Of course, you would have friends from across the narrow sea. You're from there yourself, after all. We're friends, aren't we, Lord Varys? I like to think <laughs> we are. So you can imagine my burden. Wondering if the king might question my friend's sympathies. To stand at a crossroads returning left means loyalty to a friend, turning right, loyalty to the realm. Please. To find myself in a position where a simple word to the king. What are you two conspiring about? <laughs> Literally Whatever everything. Is, you best hurry up. My brother is coming to a small council meeting. Disturbing news from far away. Hadn't you heard? Oh boy. Where is she? I don't know. What? Is she She's outside? outside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's just hanging around. Uh-huh. She's very clearly disturbed. Oh, boy. Off with you. No begging. I'm not a beggar. I live here. Do you want a smack on your ear to help you with your hearing? I want to see my father. I want to fight the Queen for all the good it does me. <laughs> you want your father, boy? He's lying on the floor of some tavern, getting pissed on by his friends. My father is hanged the King. I'm not a boy. I'm Arya Stark of Winterfell. And if you lay a hand on me, my father will have both your heads on spikes. Now, are you going to let me by, or do I need to smack you on the ear to help with your hearing? You know I had half oh my. my guard out searching for you. You promised me this would stop. They said they were going to kill you. Who did? I didn't see them. But I think one was fat. Oh, yeah. I'm not lying. They said you found the bastard, and the wolves are fighting the lions, and the savage. Something about the savage. Where did you hear this? In the dungeons, near the dragon skulls. What were you doing in the dungeons? Near cat. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon, my lord. There's a nice watchman here begging a word. Says it's urgent. Your name, friend? Yorin, if it please. And this must be your son. He has the look. I'm a girl. Did Benjamin send you? No one sent me, my lord. I'm here to find men for the wall. See if there's any scum in the dungeons that might be fit for service. Oh, we'll find recruits for you. Thank you, my lord, but that's not why I disturb you now. Your brother Benjamin, his blood runs black, makes him as much my brother as yours. It's for his sake I rode here so hard I damn near killed my horse. There are others riding too. The whole city will know by tomorrow. Know what? Best said in private, my lord. Go on. We'll talk more later. Damn. Jory, take her safely to her room. Come along, my lady. You heard your father. How many guards does my father have? Here in King's Landing, 50. You wouldn't let anyone kill him, would you? No fear on that account, little lady. Mmm, I hope not. Well, it's about your wife, my lord. She's taken the... Oh, boy. And then he saved her for being killed. I wonder if her thoughts so far would from change home, Star. To whom do I speak? Sir Vardis Egan, Knight of the Vale. Lady Aaron expecting your visit. There was no time to send word. May I ask, my lady, why he is with you? That's why there was no time. He is my prisoner. He doesn't look like a prisoner. My sister will decide what he looks like. Yes, my lady. Give me ten good men and some climbing spikes. I'll impregnate the bitch. <laughs> I like you. Because it's on a mountain. Oh. That is a crazy structure in the background yeah, just saying it is
Lord Stark, your presence has been requested in the small council chamber. A meeting has been called. I need to see the king first, alone. The king is at the small council meeting, my lord. He has summoned you. Is it about my wife? No, my lord. I believe it concerns Daenerys Targaryen. The whore is pregnant. You're speaking of murdering a child. I warned you this would happen back in the north. I warned you, but you didn't care to hear. Well, hear it now. I want him dead. Mother and child, both. And that fool Viserys as well. Is that plain enough for you? I want them both dead. You'll dishonor yourself forever if you do this. Honor? I've got seven kingdoms to rule. One king, seven kingdoms. Do you think honor keeps them in line? Do you think it's honor that's keeping the peace? It's fear. Fear and blood. Then we're no better than the Mad King. Careful, Ned. Careful now. You want to assassinate a girl? <laughs> a Targaryen at the head of a Dothraki army. What then? The narrow sea still lies between us. Our oh, fear of the Dothraki. The day they teach the horses to run on water. Nothing. That's your wise advice. Do nothing till our enemies are on our shores. You're my counsel. Counsel! Speak sense to this honorable fool. I understand your misgivings, my lord. Truly, I do. It is a terrible thing we must consider, a vile thing. Yet we who presume to rule must sometimes do vile things for the good of the realm. Should the gods grant Daenerys a son, the realm will bleed. Kinder even, that she should die now, so that tens of thousands might live. We should have had them both killed years ago. When you find yourself in bed with an ugly woman, best close your eyes, get it over with. Cut her throat. Be done with it. I mm. followed you into war. Twice. Without doubts. Without second thoughts. But I will not follow you now. The Robert I grew up with didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. She dies. I will have no part in it. Nor the King's hand, Lord Stark. You will do as I command, or I'll find me a hand who will. Wild. And good luck to him. I thought you were a better man. Out. Out. Damn you. I've done with you. Go run back to Winterfell. Have your head on a spike. Put it there myself, you fool. You I'll go ahead with my daughters. Get them ready. Do it yourself. Don't ask anyone for help. Right away, my lord. Lord Baelish is here for you. His grace went on about you at some length after you took your leave. The word treason was mentioned. What can I do for you? When do you return to Winterfell? Why, what do you care? If you're still here come nightfall, I'll take you to see the last person John Aaron spoke with before falling ill. If that sort of thing still interests you. I don't have the time. It won't take more than an hour, but as you please. Your aunt has done a bad thing, Robin, a very bad thing. You remember her, don't you? Isn't he beautiful? And strong, too. John knew it. His last words were, the seed is strong. He wanted everyone to know what a good, strong boy his son would grow up to be. Look at him, the lord of all the vale. Lysa, you wrote me about the Lannisters, warning me to stay away from them, not to bring one here. Is that a bad man? It is. He's little. He's Tyrion the Imp of House Lannister. He killed your father. He murdered the hand of the king. Oh, did I kill him too? I've been a very busy man. You will watch your tongue. These men are knights of the Vale. Every one of them loved John Arryn. Every one of them would die for me. If any harm comes to me, my brother Jamie will see that they do. You can't hurt us. No one can hurt us. You're telling mommy. Him. Honestly, Lord. Jeez. He's just trying to frighten us. Madisters are all liars. Okay. No one will hurt my baby. Mommy. I want to She's thinking about uh I don't know, my sister seems a little odd. This man is my prisoner. I will not have him harmed. Nevadas, my sister's guest is weary. Take him down below so he can rest. Introduce him to Maud. Oh, oh, Steve Dwarf man. <laughs> Steve good little dwarf man. In the dungeons. Oh gosh. That. It's a cliff. They threw him on the cliff. Oh, I would back away too. Mm. 
looks like blood on the cliff. You see? On the edge of it? Yeah. Oh. All I ever hear from Robert and Stannis is how I'm not tough enough. How I squirm at the sight of blood. You did vomit in that boy's eye was knocked out in the melee. His eye was dangling out of the damn socket. He shouldn't have entered the melee if he didn't know how to fight. Easy for you to say. Not everyone is such a gifted swordsman. Oh, it's not a gift. No one gave it to me. I'm good because I work at it. Every day of my life since I could hold a stick. Hmm. I could work at fighting all day every day. I'd still never be as good as you. Yes, well, I guess we'll never know. Everywhere. Everywhere. So, how did it end up? The Targaryen girl will die? It needs to be done. Unpleasant as it is. Robert's rather tasteless about it. Every time he talks about killing her, I swear the table rises six inches. It's a shame he can't muster the same enthusiasm for his wife. He does have a deep abiding lust for her money. I have an outrageous amount of money. Not as much as the Lannisters. <laughs> but a lot more than you. Do you know who should be king? Be serious. I am. My father could be your bank. I've never fought in a war before, but I'd fight for you. I'm fourth in line. And where's Robert in the line of royal succession? Ah. Uh. Joffrey is a monster. Tommen is eight. Stannis. Stannis has the personality of a lobster. He's still my older brother. Ooh, what are you doing? Look at it. You cut me. It's just blood. We've all got it in us. Sometimes a little spills. If you become king, you're going to see a lot of this. You need to get used to it. Go on. Look. People love you. They love to serve you because you're kind to them. They want to be near you. Okay. You're willing to do. There's so many people done. like. You seem so good I don't together. Know. All these people are like buying for stuff. But happy. Glad I could do something to make you happy. Without a hand, everything will fall to pieces. I suppose this is where you tell me to give the job to your brother, Jamie. He's not serious enough. I'll say this for Ned Stark. He's serious enough. Mm. Was it really worth it? Losing him this way. I don't know. But I do know this. The Targaryen girl convinces her horse lord husband to invade. When the Dothraki horde crosses the narrow sea, we won't be able to stop them. Dothraki don't sail. Every child knows that. They don't have discipline. They don't have armor. They don't have siege weapons. It's a neat little trick you do. You move your lips and your father's voice comes out. <laughs> Is my father wrong? I've heard about their father a little bit, but I haven't Let's seen say him. Viserys Targaryen lands with <laughs> 40,000 Dothraki screamers at his back. We hole up in our castles. Wise move. Only a fool would meet the Dothraki in an open field. They leave us in our castles. They go from town to town, looting and burning, killing every man who can't hide behind a stone wall, stealing all our crops and livestock, enslaving all our women and children. How long do the people of the Seven Kingdoms stand behind their absentee king, their cowardly king hiding behind high walls? When did the people decide that Viserys Targaryen is the rightful monarch after all? We still outnumber them. Which is the bigger number? Five or one? Five. Five. One. One army. A real army. United behind one leader with one purpose. Our purpose died with the Mad King. Now we've got as many armies as there are men with gold in their purse. And everybody wants something different. Your father wants to own the world. Ned Stark wants to run away and bury his head in the snow. What do you want? Sometimes I don't know what holds it together. Our marriage. <laughs> ah, so here we sit, 17 years later, holding it all together. Don't you get tired? Every day. Oh, Lord. How long can hate hold a thing together? Well, 17 years is quite a long time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And they seem to have a mutual respect for each other, mm -hmm. but they just have no feelings for each other whatsoever. What was she like? You've never asked about her, not once. Why not? At first, just saying her name, even in private, I felt like I was breathing life back into her. I thought if I didn't talk about her, she'd just fade away for you. When I realized that wasn't going to happen, I refused to ask out of spite. I didn't want to give you the satisfaction of thinking I cared enough to ask. 
And eventually it became clear that my spite didn't mean anything to you. As far as I could tell, you actually enjoyed it. So why now? What harm could Liana Stark's ghost do to either of us that we haven't done to each other a hundred times over? Mm. You want to know the horrible truth? I even remember what she looked like. I only know she was the one thing I ever wanted. Someone took her away from me, and seven kingdoms couldn't fill the hole she left behind. Uh -huh. I felt something for you once, you know. I know. Even after we lost our first boy. Quite a while, actually. Was it ever possible for us? Was there ever a time, ever a moment? No. Damn. It's just they make you feel better or worse. They have to because of the power struggle and everything. Doesn't make me feel anything. Their marriage is like long, long gone. She looks like him. Don't she, my lord? She has his nose. I feel like it's just his political hair. reasons now. Tell him when you see him, my lord. If it please you. Tell him how beautiful she is. I will. And tell him I've been with no one else. I swear it, my lord. By the old gods and you. I don't want no jewels or nothing. Just him. The king was always good to me. When John Arryn came to visit you, what did he want? He wasn't that sort of man, my lord. He just wanted to know if the child was happy, healthy. It was healthy enough to me. Girls should want for nothing. Brothels make a much better investment than ships, I've found. Whores rarely sink. What do you know of King Robert's bastards? Well, he has more than you, for a start. And John Arryn tracked them all down. <laughs> Why? He was the king's hand. Perhaps Robert wanted them looked after. He was overcome <laughs> with fatherly love. <laughs> Come. Jory! My lord. I'll give you presents. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Such a small pack of wolves. Stay back, sir. This is the hand of the king. Was the hand of the king. I'm not sure what he is. Lord of somewhere very far away. What's the meaning of this, Lannister? Get back inside, where it's safe. I'm looking for my brother. You remember my brother, don't you, Lord Stark? Blonde hair, sharp tongue, short man. I don't, I don't know about short, well. mind. Seems he had some trouble on the road. You wouldn't know what happened to him, would you? He was taken at my command to answer for his crimes. My lords! <laughs> I bring the city watch. Come, Stark. I'd rather you die sword in hand. If you threaten my lord threaten. again. As in, I'm going to open your lord from balls to brains and see what Starks are made of. You kill me. Your brother's a dead man. You're right. Take him alive. Kill his men. What the? Oh my god. Boy. Yeah. Shit. Good. This is a long time coming. Yeah. It's so intense. Oh, he almost got him. Boy. I don't think he's gonna kill him, but I don't know what they're fighting. I mean. Oh. What? Shit. He just stabs him? Yep. My brother, Lord Stark. I want him back. He was even surprised that the guy did that. Why did he do that? I don't know. Oh. Why'd well, have to leave us like this? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh. It just gets deeper and deeper. Had like an all-out war in the Seven Kingdoms. And so, wow. I'm going to need to write down some notes yep. because I'm, it's just a post, like right after watching something, you have a little bit of trouble recalling everything, but as time goes on, yes. it just sinks in more and we realize more and things. And connect the dots easier. Yeah. And we just watched two episodes back to back. So it's kind of like that episode and this episode are lambed together. So they took Tyrion to 
the eerie. It was more of an episode where they're introducing a little new, a little bit of new places. The new king, the seven kingdoms now know about Daenerys being pregnant. And so they want to kill her child, her and her brother now. I think they're over exaggerating a little bit the threat. Yes. Because I don't think the Dothraki will go to war, to be honest, like all the way over there. I haven't like seen across the ocean and any intuition to do that. And maybe at some point they'll be like, I'm going to conquer the whole world. The Dothraki want to bring their rule to the whole world. But I don't know how long that's going to be. It could be years and years until that even is a possibility, like another 17 years until... That child is old enough to yeah. take over as the Dothraki and then the mother is, let's go do it. It's going to be a long time, I think. I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going yeah, to he's, kill he's the child. He's still ground to do it. He may yeah. like ripped off the pin and everything. He's reverting to the honorable thing, again, where he just doesn't realize or he realizes it's just not an honorable place. I've just had enough. I will do anything for you to make the realm of the seven kingdoms function, but I'm not going to go to war again. I am not going to go kill a child. I'm not going to do it because I don't see it as a direct threat currently. And even they're just paranoid about it twice, two wars. Yeah. And now he's in the whole instance with his wife taking Tyrion to yeah. the Eyrie to face the king's judgment. Her sister does not have it all together. No. Over there. She has kind of lost it. So she controls one of the kingdoms. I'm assuming that's one of the kingdoms. And she is gonzo. Yeah. She I, is not with it. Lady Stark had realized it when she looked at she, like, You could see it on her face. Yeah. And at the end, they killed all of his guards. Now he's wounded, injured. Yeah. How is he going to get back to Winterfell with his daughters? To said that round I just don't up. think he's leaving anymore. But like, how do you not? I don't know. It's up to the king at this point to like determine whether he gets punished if Jamie Lannister gets punished and I don't know if he's yeah but the king like, has too much power over what... yeah she's really in control yes because the king doesn't do anything he doesn't want to do anything he doesn't care so Cersei is pulling the strings behind the scenes Lord Varys is pulling the strings in whatever way he wants to pull the strings I don't entirely know what his plan is or who he's what side he's on yet he doesn't seem like he wants for himself to rule or anything he he seems like he's trying to help other people even the two lords lord baelish and the other one. Oh yeah they were like helping lord stark with information i think i don't know what lord baelish wants I don't know. yet i really don't maybe he's just working for his like infatuation with his wife still but it doesn't make any sense to me though i don't know i don't know where he's coming from i don't know if they're actually helping him or not to be honest i think they're all trying to use him in their own way disguising it as we're trying to help you we're trying to help you when actually they're just trying to forward whatever because they're get i feel they're, they're giving to... him way too inf much information way too fast just handing it to him like i said before in other episodes all of the folds are opening and we're gonna learn it it's gonna hit us like a freaking brick wall at this very point at this very point episode five we're halfway i believe it's 10 episodes per season 10 episodes i would assume halfway point of this season yeah everything is a, t a toss up and if i thought about it more i think i'd probably come to some more conclusions like more insightful conclusions i think sansa has realized that it's most really realized it's not glamorous it's, i'm ready to go let's go i didn't even see sansa in this episode i don't remember seeing her at all it was hello. the only time i think they were together was she was getting like all of the history lessons or lord baelish was talking to her at the joust Oh, yeah. Towards the end, like the end part of the joust where the two... Fighters, jousters? No. Oh. The two brothers fought each other. Oh. And then with all the bastards, I don't know why that's important because I thought bastards are just like disowned in this universe. Like they, they have no power. So I don't know why... It would be a part of the bastards. For the bastards to be like involved or to do you know we'll see about that i don't think any of them are like challenging the knight of flowers in that scene they were talking about the line of succession for he said he's fourth in line for the throne so he's related to the king and he's oh you should be king because you're a nice person it seems like you would get stopped on 
I think they're just talking to talk because I don't think they really have any sort of power. That's if you were to rate the power those two characters have on the scale of people trying to fight for this throne currently, it's probably down there at the bottom. Down there right with the bastards of Robert trying to fight for the throne who, who don't even, they're just existing in the world. This was a lot of information to take all at once. So if we miss some things, yes, please let us please know. Let us know. And try to keep it spoiler free and up to date with our video. Please subscribe, check out the Patreon, see if it's something you would be interested in. We also have YouTube join, which has all of our watch alongs and you get channel membership badges. They upgrade as you are a member longer and it'll show in the comments and you can follow us throughout this journey. Yes. Crazy, incredible journey so far. It's going. Mm -hmm. It's going somewhere and we are dangling on to the rope, as one said, and following it. It'll probably hit me later and then I'll remember it for next time. Mm. But thank you for watching Immersive Reactions. Until next time. Peace. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps us get recognition on our videos and we'll react to more in the future. Thank you.